Let's try this again. We'll see if it's choppy. We'll see what it looks like. If I have to wait till next week to stream, then I have to wait till next week to stream. That's just life. All right, so this is Hangman's Alley that I've been working on. Um, let's make it daylight, even though it doesn't make much of a difference in Hangman's Alley if I make it daylight or not. So let me kind of take you through. It doesn't seem to be chop up. Oh, it is choppy. All right, so I'm going to take you in the front entrance, or what I consider to be the front entrance. Just watch it to see what the stream's doing, seeing if it's choppy. All right, it appears to be working pretty well at the moment. All right, so we got the flower shop over here. I don't see any dropped frames at the moment. So little flower shop um, right here on the side. And what I decided to do, so if you look up, you can see these three story structures. So I decided that each little shop is just gonna have a little section that takes you upstairs. So I'll go into the first shop here. And as you can see, when you go upstairs, you've got your living quarters. And we've got an upstairs kitchen, dining room, living room. And I was able to fit a bathroom in this time, which I was very pleased with. All right, then you go next door to um, the toy store, which we named Jangle's Toy Store. So here's Jangle's Toys. And in the toy shop, you go upstairs as well. Hey, Dwarf, welcome back. Let me know if there's lag. We'll just see what happens. This is just my life at the moment. How's your day today? How's everything going? And then this goes into the upstairs, which I have yet to decorate. So I'll probably work on decorating this a little bit. And go from there. It's hard for me not to get distracted by looking for lag, so I'm just gonna try not to get distracted looking for lag. Um, put it that way. Looking smooth through the toy shop, awesome. Um, right now I am not moving, so if the screen's not moving, it's because I'm not moving. And I'm trying to find a good place to place my cell phone so I can see the chat. So if nothing's moving, it's because I'm not moving. Sorry. Sorry for the boring staring at Jangle's toys. All right. It's just going to have to stay on my left. Um, it's a little bit distracting. I like it on my right side. Let me see what I can do here. All right. So um, just chill out. Don't worry about silly shit like lag. Okay. Um, all right, so Jangle's Toys, 
And I put this little room here. I thought I was going to make it a bathroom. Um, and what I did was my favorite little two-sided mirrors. So I put the mirror here um, or the glass here that you could see through one way, but you can't see through the other way. So I was thinking about, um, love the layout over the lower floor of Jangles. Thank you. Um, but I am not sure what I'm going to put in this room here. So I might just end up making it a bathroom in the back and then just a little bedroom for somebody and maybe just a little one room. So let's go ahead and start. It's so hard not to watch the stream from the lag. <laughs> it's so hard for me. <laughs> I know, right? Janu Schurner one, welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I might have some lag issues. Uh, if that happens, um, I'll cut the stream. So we'll just see how it goes. Uh, let's put in um, a bathroom. Um, for these people. Uh, let's see if I have yes, a barn door. Unpainted. Let's see if I can kind of place it about here. Maybe back a little bit. Options for the room between Jangles and the other shop could be a stock room or a manager's office, hence the two-way. Yes, it actually could. Um, so let me... Well, the thing that I'm worried about... Um, so I get what you're saying with the manager's office um, or a stock room. But the thing I worry about is running out of room to put actual people. Like, for people to live. Um... So yeah, I think for now I'm just going to make it living quarters. I may end up changing it, and if I end up changing it, so be it. But it's just going to be where somebody lives for now, um, just because I don't know how many settlers I'll end up with here, but they are going to need places to live. And so a bathroom is going there for now. Um, cause yeah, I think the two-way mirror is kind of funny. So how was your day, Dwarf? I did stream a little bit of this building on Twitch, um, a little while ago. the sink. There it is. Oh, quiet Sunday. Oh, thankfully it is a Saturday. I love Saturdays. Nice quiet day. I hope it's been relaxing for you. And my usual little bathroom. Uh, and then let's just give them a bed in there so they have a place to sleep. How are you doing on your side of the world? Today's been a pretty decent day. Um, the weather has been gorgeous. It's been nice and cool. I like when the weather's cool. Um... So maybe this is where the person that works in the flower shop, maybe that's where they live. So since I'm not too sure on that, I'm not going to put too much into the details there just yet. Um, I do need to put a rug under this. Armor bar, clinic clothes, general, general. 
Kind of rug. Uses the clipboard animation. That's fine. So one thing that I'm not sure is how I'm going to get these people water. Um, I suppose I will have to use just water pumps. Um, must be placed in water. Extracts water from the human air. No need to place in water and wirelessly powered. All right, well, that I'll use. All right, so now they have 15 water. Um, I'm going to turn this light source towards what I'm actually working on. All right, let's head upstairs and see what I'm going to put where in this room. Uh, let's get some lights. I hope we didn't lose egg. I hope egg comes back. Um, what do you think? Upstairs for bedrooms or upstairs for kitchen, living room, dining room? I'm kind of open to either one. I'm kind of thinking this room for bedrooms. There's, there's really not a lot of room for beds. I guess I could really only fit like two over there. There are a few places where you can place water pumps in dirt if you don't want to use the incisor. Um, those are those those ugly pumps that aren't clean water though, right? I wonder if I could put three beds here in this space. Upstairs bedroom. I would put bedrooms on the top floor so that living space is in the middle. All right, let's go with beds upstairs. I'm game. This person is gonna wake up in the morning and they're gonna roll straight down the stairs. I feel a little bad for them. <laughs> um, where else can I fit? I think I could fit two more beds. So this actually works out better because I could fit more beds. I just don't know what kind of living space I'm going to be able to fit downstairs. Oh, falling through the floor. What do you, uh, I don't think I'm going to squeeze an extra bed in there, but I do think I'm going to put railings around these stairs because <laughs> I can absolutely see people falling through. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Happened to me once, only once. Falling through the floor. <laughs> Falling through the floor happens to me at least 20 times, maybe 30 times a stream. An easy way to tell you have room enough between the beds for NPCs is to move your character down the gap without them stepping up onto either bed or being blocked. I was more thinking for aesthetic purposes, not for practical purposes. Like, is it going to look too cramped? And I feel like it would look too cramped with an extra bed there. Specifically. I think this railing is not agreeing with me either. So the puppy was a little monster today as usual. But he did get plenty of playtime. And in about an hour will be his eating time. So I'll probably stream for about an hour should everything um, hold up properly. 
Knock on wood. So what's everyone working on? What y'all building? You can easily fit three beds across two floor sections. Just putting up rails. I'm building a hangover for Sunday morning. Very nice, Hawk. <laughs> what are you building that hangover with? What is your choice of poison? Uh, let's see if these are sticking through the ground. Eh, they're sticking through a little bit, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, all right, so we got beds upstairs. This morning I've simply been playing Fallout as I have not been in the mood to tackle any of my current projects. That happens to me as well, um, not being in the mood to tackle certain projects. Um, all right, so here's the, the question that I have, and my game just actually stuttered, so now I'm getting really worried, um, is... is all right not gonna worry about the lag trying not to uh what do i want miscellaneous railings where are wood railings uh wood railings <laughs> right in front of my face the things that say wood railings you know what they are you'd be amazed they're wood railings Shiner. Uh, Shiner's beer, right? This regular beer? Shiner Bach or something like that? As you can tell, it's not something I regularly drink. I'm guilty of drinking um, Miller Lights and White Claws. I know, how very girly of me. All right, uh, I suppose living, dining, you know what, this, can that be a kitchen? No, I don't think that could be a kitchen. Um, can that be a dining room? Let me move this up one. Yes, China Bach, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> uh... This, this is glitching out a little bit. Movement, the axis, up one. Um, there, it stops glitching. Thank you for that tip, Dwarf. Uh, disable workshop rotation. All right, where do I put what in here? Um, I just wish this space here could be used for something, but it almost just can't. So I'm gonna have to squeeze everything into the, these two areas here. So let's put a couch up against the wall. I'm gonna go with the Wasteland Chic couch. White Claw isn't bad. Um, no, and I specifically, what I was drinking yesterday when I was singing, which you missed the stream when I was, <laughs> when I was singing, Hey, we're the monkeys. It's a nice, easy way to get rid of those annoying glitchy patches. Yes, it is. Um, and now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head, but I was drinking, um, White Claw Surge. It's a little bit more alcohol by volume. It's 8%, which is a little better. Um, in my opinion, I'd rather, if I'm going to have the calories, I'd rather have it at 8% alcohol by volume. So... 
uh, versus not. I try. I changed my mind. Build the kitchen upstairs. Also, meow. <laughs> You changed your mind. Well, it's too late. Did you just say meow? Clutter, rooms, kitchen. I love having a chat. I just think y'all are so entertaining. Everybody's entertaining. So this is going to be their tiny little kitchen. I don't even know if I'm going to give them... Maybe I'll put a cooking station outside so I don't have to give them a... Um, you don't sound old enough to remember the monkeys. I assure you I'm old enough to remember the monkeys. Which is, the song is so stuck in my head right now. Um, do, do, do. Uh, what was I looking for? Can I put a cooking station outside? I'm going back to do it yourself to get... Um, a counter. And I'm going to put the counter backwards, Dwarf, because they are in limited space and they really need the storage. And I think I actually will be able to fit a uh, um, stove. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Okay, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it again. It just so gets in your head. You say so, I'm a believer. That's what they did to me yesterday, and then they got, I'm a believer in my head. This is a repeat of last night. <laughs> I'm a believer. Yeah, thanks for sticking that particular tune in my head. I'm going to have it stuck in there for days. So am I, man. So am I. You'll be, you'll be tortured along with me. Okay, I'm going to stop. I promise. All right, uh, what else? They could put a little table right there. They've got a couch. Let's give them some side tables. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Furniture, tables. I'm a big fan, actually, of using this bench now as a table. Because it's such a cute little... It's supposed to be a bench, but it's such a cute little table. I'm going to have to go and have an ear purge with some disturbed or priest later. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, um, I guess they will just have a couch. Should I try to fit a chair in there also? What do you think? A couch and a chair? I think I can take advantage of this space. I think I could fit more than I think I can. Very wasteland chic hangman's alley apartment. And people say I'm walking around. <laughs> I really was. Last night I was singing the whole song. It was kind of funny. I don't necessarily know that I love that, but that's okay. Uh, vendors, where do I want to go to? Tables. Let's keep the streets clean. Yes, that is a particular table I'm looking for. What do we think? Up against the wall or right here in the middle? I say right here in the middle. I kind of want to just go with these chairs. wall chef over the kitchen bench for extra storage yes um i'm thinking wall shelves uh oh damn you stream this morning 
on YouTube or YouTube play and sugar me. No, I did stream first thing in the morning. Yeah, I woke up and decided to play and figured that if I'm going to be playing, I might as well stream it. Um, yeah, let's add some shelves. I always forget that shelves are in do-it-yourself. I always want to go to decorations to find it. I think I can get a small one right here. Or you know what? I could put a cabinet there. Um, let's get a longer one here. To keep quite a bit of their belongings. And then maybe there's another shelf here too. Because they're in such a cramped space. Uh, yeah, this morning was um, stuff that I pretty much completely took down. I, I thought about doing, because I really did not pay attention to the fact that Hangman's Alley, you have to go vertical. Um, I must have been out with the mutt. Oh, uh, what kind of doggy? If the mutt's a dog. <laughs> I hope you're talking about a dog. <laughs> um, sticking this one would go here. Even though I think I could probably fit a longer one. I got an Ewok. <laughs> awesome. Um, food and drink. I used to want an Ewok when I was a kid. I wish they were real. Not anymore, though. Gosh, having a puppy, I practically have one. An Ewok, a Dwarven Wookiee, it's called. Can't remember what... Not Toby is. Uh, kitchen. Kitchen junk. That's where their glasses go. Um, what do I think they have hanging out up here? Um, not kitchen stuff. Guns and ammo. Um, I like this half cleaning shelf that I think is here. Oh, you know what? Let me put some stim packs on one side. And then I'm pretty sure there's a half cleaning. Half comes, half comes, half comes. I could have sworn there was a half cleaning one. I call him Ewok, but he's a certain breed. <laughs> and the breed is not actually Ewok. Um, yeah, that could be where they keep their medical and chems. I think I'm gonna put a picture on that wall. Um, maybe some shelves on this wall as well. Half cleaning is under kitchen clutter. Hey, Lyrical, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Enjoy the decorating. Um, I pretty much tore down everything from this morning. So it's kind of a brand new. Um, my first service dog was named Toby. And then when he passed, I got this one. And he is not Toby. <laughs> Um, what kind of stuff can go on tools and components I'm cool with them having a place to store that and then I'm thinking maybe there will be one shelf of books it's not the end of the world I had a feeling you would <laughs> yeah I just I I just yeah I didn't love the way that it was turning out and if I'm going to put that much effort into decorating something where it takes, you know, hours, I've got to kind of love it. He is breed Ewok. Oh, geez. Don't expect me to remember that, Hawk. I can't remember what I did this morning. <laughs> All right, 
so they have these about here. Let's put some beverages. Let's have them keep their liquor here. And let's have them keep some crates down there and maybe their vegetables up there. That works for me. And let's see what picture we're going to put on the brick wall. I know something on it. Who's getting, who's getting old crud is for the birds. Yeah, getting old sure does suck. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do an abstract painting and shrink it down. Just because I feel like using this painting. There we go. All right, they got a picture. Um, something else could go on this wall. I'm not sure what, so I'll decide on that later. Um, also not sure what I'm going to do with this wall on the... Oh, you know what? I could put like a little bookshelf there. It's impossible in these tiny spaces to move to a place where there's no... Where your cursor isn't on anything. So I'm having to get used to moving the up and down arrows. Sorry, I missed your stream, but me and the Ewok had to get out. Sometimes you got to get out. Um, what was I looking for? I was going to decorations, WDP, uh, living quarters. And I think I was going to try to fit this here, which means I have to move that backwards. Or that up, sorry, not backwards. Which means we're not going to put books on that particular shelf. I'm starting to think NT likes the bike more than me. NT, is that the dog? Did you bring your dog on your bike? Because that's pretty awesome if you did. My dogs would love something like that. My old dog, Moo Bear, would have loved it. Bless her heart. May she rest in peace. My little sweetheart. Um, let's put some towels or something up there. We got tools and components. I have no, I don't know the point of putting towels since it's not like they have a bathroom or anything. Um, TV or NT. Hello, Reese. Hey, Reese and DOG. Boop. NT, not today. And yes, he does very well on the motorcycle. <laughs> Reese, I hope you're having a great day, or DOG, whoever it is. I hope you're both having a great day. I hope you did some awesome builds today. Uh, let me get into creative clutter and see what my options are. Putting some shit on walls. Um, rooms, office, clutter. I think I want to go with living room clutter. Yeah. Anyway, Slender, how's the weekend treating you all? Weekend is treating me personally just fine. Don't have too many complaints about it. I thought this snapped for some reason. <laughs> random duck? Do we put the random duck up here? I don't think they have a whole uh, lot of DOG. Um, I feel like they wouldn't be doing a lot of, hey, NZ, where's the, or Dwarf, where is the, um, that clutter under? I'm not seeing it. Um, the clutter I was thinking of, that cleaning clutter, ah, bathroom clutter. I can dig a random duck. <laughs> Can't everyone? You know what, I think I'm just going to go with some random storage um, from do-it-yourself. Library and storage. I think 
you have a decent living space. Half cleaning piece that you were thinking of is under kitchen. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? Maybe I will put that up here. Let me see. Um, do it yourself or creative clutter. What do you call a pile of cats? A mountain. Cleaning supplies. Perfect. That works. Um, let me put some clutter on that kitchen counter. Um, creative clutter. I hate ducks. You ever been to Sundance Square? Ducks everywhere. <laughs> I hate ducks. How could anybody really hate a duck? They have those little feet. They're so cute. That's just too funny. I hate ducks. <laughs> and the little bread thing that I put everywhere. Alright, I think their kitchen slash living room slash dining room is complete. Don't forget that you have V's for kitchen clutter. Um, I forget V's. You know what I'm afraid? I'm afraid of V's breaking my, um, breaking my computer sometimes. Because um, of that one room that I decorated with V's, and then I can't even go in it. So I don't know if it's, there's just too much stuff. Um, what are we going to do with these people? Um, let's go ahead and start by giving them some rugs. Wasteland sheep rugs. Ducks really quack me up. <laughs> quack. Uh, they are going to get the pre made shelves that are under, I want to say, creative clutter. Um, is the pre made shelves that I'm thinking of. Rooms, bedroom, beds, clutter, tables, and shelves. We can have this little one. And we can have the vault one. Just because then I don't have to decorate a side table, and that makes me happy not have to do. Likely that specific room has too much stuff in it for your laptop to handle. When they was a failure, Satan created ducks. <laughs> we really, we really don't like ducks that much, man. And here I'm over here thinking that they're all cute. Uh, back to WDP for living quarters and we are going to get some of these going on just one next to the other I don't think hopefully that doesn't look too matchy matchy Um, these people each need shelves as well. Let's see. So I thought I was done with the stacks, but got a few more mods. <laughs> and someone mentioned decorating, and now I can't leave it alone. <laughs> can't stand California or the Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks, the TV show? Or, or Mighty Ducks, the actual Mighty Ducks? I guess you're talking about the actual Mighty Ducks since it's Cal you mentioned California. Here's your jet and beer. You know, I suppose they can get to... Oh, what's in the way? I'm bad. I suppose they can get to this corner. I could do something there. The 
chat feels like it got hijacked by the cheese group, but with ducks. I love ducks, sweet and sour. <laughs> You mean like eating sweet and sour duck? Not something that I eat often. I think maybe once in my life I've had duck. Have fun with decorating that maze in your sex video. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be some interesting decorating. Um, what was I just going to do? I was going to go into containers, storage, as usual, put my little suitcases under their beds because I think they're traveling nomads. Yeah, it was upbeat. She asked me if I got it decorated or just built. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Um, I'm wanting different lighting. Let's put up the lighting. Lights, wall. Well, just because to me, it looks like fun to decorate, to be honest. Um, that means I can hopefully take down this light. All right, it's not too terribly dark. Um, let me put a container by that one bed. Containers, storage, just a little foot locker. Someone did say it was a big nothing burger inside. They're not wrong. <laughs> but it looks so amazing from the outside. Who called it a nothing burger? That's so rude if somebody actually said that. Super rude. I don't think it's a nothing burger at all. I hope nobody said that to you. Fun to decorate said no man ever. <laughs> brown on brown, what's not to love about it? The side of the tetanus. Said no man ever. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do we think these people are digging? They want a farm scene. Maybe this one wants some of these lily pads. That was a jest. Oh, okay. They were joking around. We were just kidding. This one could have a happy little boat. I feel like something could go in that corner right there. I'm not sure what, though. Agreed, Hawk. And that's the part that I find peaceful, is the decorating part. Right now, the game is stopped for a second so I can get my water. Because I'm recovering from my drinking yesterday. Um, any more pictures? Maybe one more on the wall there. Decorating is my favorite part of the build process. It can be very relaxing. Oh, I like this picture. Go on that wall there. Thank you. All right, so I think their upstairs is pretty much done. Um, I do still want to put something in that corner. I just don't know what. And then they've got their kitchen, living room, dining room. And they live upstairs from the toy store. I guess I should have more toys back here. But I've kind of maxed out all the toys. This is pretty much everything I could find. I could probably scrap around for one more shelf of toys. Um, I 
Nothing makes me want to rage quit like decorating. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I feel like it does need like one more thing of games or toys, but I'm kind of out of toys. Except for my hangar and lab build. That's just big spaces, which are fighting me a bit and trying to get it done. Bob Ross taken out of context and background melody sounds like a murder mystery. Lots of happy accidents remind me of the paintings. <laughs> It's a happy little accident. This whole settlement is a happy little accident right now. Uh, clutter. I put all the recreation stuff. I've got nothing else. I've got nothing else to fill these racks with. I've used all the toys. Does anybody have any recommendation of where else to find toys or what other toys? So I've gone into every place that I had and pulled out every toy. But I feel like that shelf is still feeling really empty. I could just go ahead and reuse some of the stuff that I reuse that I used already. I mean, they're not going to have books in a toy store. Oh, you know what? I have those um, comic books, those stacks of comic books somewhere. Somewhere. That's the key term is where the heck it is. The toy section of CC has model cars that could go in that extra shelf. Um, I think I used all of them. I'm going to try and figure out how to make my towers shareable with the clipboard mod completely undecorated. Oh, okay, so that way somebody else could just download it. Oh, you know what? I didn't use any of these cars. Thank you. You're right. I could put model cars on all these. Oops, wrong button. Thanks, door. I'm going to try to figure out how to make Tasha around. Reese. Hi, Reese! Welcome. They were the one thing I couldn't see on your other shelves. Yeah. They were not on those shelves. Put the boxes up top. Clipboard mod lets you copy and paste your builds and share them. Oh, that's pretty awesome. All right, so we got one more shelf of toys. Oh, the Tappington Boathouse defended itself. One of my uh, settlements actually did something decent. All right, so that's Jangle's toys. Um, any ideas on names for the flower shop? Um, daisies? I don't know. It's all I could think is of boring stuff. Um... Just a warning, my computer did just glitch. I'm not sure what it is doing at the moment. So we'll just have to watch it carefully. Um, no ideas on names. Blossom's Beauty. Bloomingdale's. <laughs> no, but I like something with the name Blooming in it. That's cute. Buds Blooms, I don't know, 420, Wasteland Wildflowers, oh, I love it. I feel like if Wasteland Wildflowers wasn't too long to write across here, um, but I really do love it. 
or it's a regular flower shop. I was thinking of just calling it little flower shop. Um, well, if anybody thinks of anything, just throw it out. Um, I suppose I will move on. So the reason these, um, railings are there, whatever they're called fences is because I want to create a pathway going through the center. And so I wanted to see how much space I had to build on the other side. WW Blooms. Wasteland Wildflower Blooms. Oh, that's cute. Bloomin' Business, Bloomin' Alley. All cute. I like Wasteland Wildflowers. I just wish there was a way to shorten it. The Bloom Box. Oh, I like the Bloom Box. That's really cute. The bloom box. I think we might go with that. Put some skeletons in there and call it Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Little shop. Now you got another song stuck in your head. Little Shop of Horrors. I think this one should be green. The bloom box. What the bloom? <laughs> so I feel so bad. I'm going to tell you guys this story real quick. So my dad does not understand what YouTube streaming is, I'm sure. Um, I haven't tried to ask him if he knows or not. But I feel so bad because he keeps trying to call me. And he doesn't realize that I'm streaming. And so I do want to talk to him. But like he calls at the worst times. And so he probably just thinks that, like, I don't want to talk to him anymore. <laughs> and so I feel kind of bad. So that was just because I just had to deny a call from my dad. Now I feel like a terrible person. Okay, these are not lining up. Why are they? They're supposed to just snap into place. Look, and that one didn't even work. Uh, I think we're going to have to go with different lettering. Where the L is defective and they sell explosive flowers, the boom box. <laughs> My oldest does that. Um, your oldest does what? Well, then stop streaming. We will still be here. Your dad may not be. Life's short. Accidents happen. Oh, man. I'm, he, he knows that I'm alive. He knows that I'll call him back. What's his number? I will call and explain it to him. <laughs> I will not be giving out my father's phone number. <laughs> um, let's just go with regular lettering for now. And I will work on putting something else later. Actually, I don't want to go through all that. But yeah, it's going to be called the Bloom Box. Oh, your oldest rings you at the worst times. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so what I'm going to do with this side, I have no idea. I made this so like there's actual stairs into the entrance. Wait, that sounded worse when you said it, like a threat. <laughs> you never know how people are going to take things. <laughs> Um, why is my mouse there? We don't need a mouse there. Um, all right, what's our next shop? So I had a va vase vase shop. Um, I might put that back. Who has a suggestion on what the next shop should be? It's going to go in this little area right here. I think I'll put the vase shop over here in the corner. No, I mean, I first realized when, you know. Put the neon lettering on the corrugated metal at the bottom of the glass. Okay. Okay. 
It's still not snapping properly. But at least it does look better. But you know, they usually just snap right into place. Oh, maybe I have snapping off. <laughs> All about the vase. Vase. Is it vase or vase? The bloom box. I think that is like the cutest name ever. Way to go, Pixel. I love when I do completely ridiculous things on stream. Do it from the inside of the glass like real shops do. Hot dog stand. Have you turned snapping off? Yes, I had snapping off. The bloom box. Oh, that is too cute. And then you come inside and everything's blooming. Okay, we've got Jangle's toys and the bloom box. So my idea behind this um, depends on if it's over $20. Um, do it from the inside of the glass like real shops do. I don't have a way to do that. So my idea behind Hangman's Alley is that you come here for things like for example, like a Chinatown kind of deal, but you come here for things that are like unique, like you can't find, you know, you don't have a toy store where you live, you don't have a flower shop where you live. So I'm trying to think of things that they wouldn't necessarily have where they live. And that's why you, you come to that's your whole purpose of coming to Hangman's Alley um, is to kind of find something. Uh, let's see what to put there. Um, I can put the vase shop back. I'd rather do that off stream because I feel like it's kind of boring. I do sort of want to work on this side. I didn't see any bluebells in shop. In the apocalypse, no way. What's no way? A hot dog stand? Um, how can I do a hot dog stand? I think I'd have to download some mods for that. A bookstore, not something you see in the wasteland. We can absolutely do a bookstore. Let's see. How are these people going to get to it? You know what? They could have just regular stairs that go to their upstairs. Oh, a toy shop being a rarity. Um, I feel like it would be in the wasteland. No, you think I'm wrong? So I guess this is going to be the bookstore. Oh, that um, awning is going to get in the way, huh? I'll have to delete that. But I kind of want to leave the awning. Maybe nobody will live above the bookshop. Dude, music just started playing on its own. What is happening in my computer right now? Is that playing for you guys? Did music just start playing? You can do an HD hot dog stand making a grill with a fire under it. Glitching a box into it, giving it wheels. Hey, let me know if music's playing for you guys, because music just started randomly playing on my stream. Rapture has started. Yeah, I can hear the music here. Is it loud? All right, give me a second. Let me try to fix that. Epidemic sound just started playing on its own.
That was really funny. Alright, the stream should be back up. I'm just waiting to see if it comes back up for you guys. Alright. Man, that was weird. I'm having all sorts. I cannot wait to get my PC, you guys. I can't even tell you. Don't fix it now. I already fixed it. I like that song. <laughs> That's what I had playing this morning. Uh, I guess we can go with some of these on top of the bookshop since I'm not going to put a um, house up there, I don't think. Snap, damn you. And it snaps to exactly where you don't want it to. Metal waits for no one. Dude, seriously. So Epidemic Sound is a, a streaming service that you pay for. And it literally just turned itself on in the background of my computer. Um, it's going to take me a while to get over that. It's like anything that can go wrong while I'm streaming will go wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have a half roof, do I? I do have a half roof. Nobody expects the Spanish metal band. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. This shit snaps. Snap, you bastard. Thank you. Finally, it looks a little ridiculous, though. Um, what is that snapping to? Why is it not covering that whole piece? I don't know. The bookshop's going to be a little janky. Let's see if we have the half roof that I want. Because, yeah, I want to use that roof that sticks up in the front so that I can right on it like this roof but I don't have a half one so it's going to look weird it will take you all the way to the copyright strike from YouTube to get over it somebody hacked you um, hopefully nobody hacked me I'd be very sad to get hacked I think the music just wanted to play. I think it was just a random glitch. There are half rooms in G2M. Are there decent ones? Like the ones that I'm looking for? Let's check it out. G2M under what tab? I'm not familiar with G2M yet at all. Construction, wood, wood floor, wall, outer, roof. It's a half roof that kind of goes sideways. I guess that looks a little less ridiculous. Now there are no coincidences. What to do about this shop? I don't like that there was that little gap there. There are always coincidences. Try roofs tab for roofs. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's just such an original idea to look under roofs for roofs. You know what? I guess I'm just going to let this glitch into the other, that other room a little bit and just deal with it. Mm. 
Yes, I hear you, puppy. Nope, not messing with that. All right, bookshop has a roof. Let's see what it looks like from inside Jangle's toys. The reason the full roof you're trying to place over the bookstores is not because you have collision issues with the orange awning. Yes, yes I do. And this roof, this here, is not going to work here. But I also don't really want to get rid of the awning because I like it. I think I find it aesthetically pleasing. Why not glitch two roofs into each other? I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to go ahead and work on the bookstore. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to worry about the roof later. A roof and a place for a turret. Yes, it is. The awning. Well, no, I can't really use the awning for a turret. But you're right. It is a good place. I wonder if I should just move it over. Yes, I can. Can she build it? Yes, she can. Don't don't do that. No, just just don't do that. Easy Fallout, what's up? How's it going? Easy Fallout, did you hack me? Be honest. Wrong button. Bob the Builder, wait, you got German series in US? Are you really in Germany? That's freaking awesome. Still gonna cut into that wall. <sighs> All right, new idea. Force of habit. You got hacked. No, I didn't get hacked. Um, for for some reason, um, random music started playing. Like the metal that I was listening to this one this morning stream just came on by itself on my laptop. And I found that quite amusing, to be honest. But also a little creepy. Great, now the store is going to be in the way. Oh, it's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Heavy metal gremlins. It was real creepy. It made weird noises. <laughs> metal gremlins. I guess they could come in on an angle, right?
I feel like that's way too in the way of the entrance. So I'm going to scratch the idea of putting the bookstore there. Something else will go there. Not sure what. Just because I cannot get it to work the way that I want it to. Because I don't want to be blocking this entrance too much. I want people to be able to walk in and have some space right here. I don't want them to just walk in right to a... Take the two metal columns out and just put the bookstore up against the next structure. Random monkey music started to play. Now I'm a believer and I'm trying to take the last train to Clarksville now. <laughs> I swear I'm watching, but Reese is testing our new mods and I'm distracted. It's called Unicorn Farts. <laughs> um, not sure what I'm going to do on this end. So when I hit a wall like that, I usually just kind of hold off until I get inspired by something. Because um, I have a way in my head that I want to make it work. And it's not going to work out that way. Oh yeah, Shadow. He's mod. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he makes some awesome mods. I'll have to look into him. I wish I had circular pieces. That would make my life so much easier if I could just have something up against here. You know, maybe the bookstore is like all outside. But then again, it's going to be open to the elements. But it's under an awning. I hate modding my F4. I tend to break stuff beyond repair. Yeah, that's one thing that I'm happy that I have yet to do is really break stuff beyond repair. Knock on wood. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Okay. Let me start working on the other side. I still think that the bloom box is so, so cute. So for right now, I'm going to leave the bridge, but I'm going to start putting a structure over here, which it looks like I started to do already. Um, maybe this will be the bookstore. Why does my mouse keep coming in? What is happening? Uh, what is happening? In my life, on this stream, in general, we kind of already did give size limit. You removed the mod, cause description, and all that shenanigans with the saved files. Okay, bookstore. Uh, let's do the bookstore barn height. Now I have metal stuck in my head, but not like actual metal music. 
It's going to be kind of hard to build. Uh, what color walls? Let's go with white walls. Best way to get rid of an earworm is to listen to the song whole. I don't think that's the best way. <laughs> I think there's got to be better ways. The bloom box, too cute. And then I just need something very tiny to patch this little space right here. Um, let's go with a piece of scaffolding. Or a half a barn floor. No, a piece of scaffolding. Or a half a barn floor. A piece of scaffolding. Where are the barn height ones? Oh, these are the barn height ones. That's the problem that I keep having. I keep forgetting that because these are raised up so that way they're out of the junk on the floor. So I keep forgetting that that won't work. But I don't think the bridge necessarily needs to be supported. What do you think? Can the bridge just be floating there? It really had something to do with brain not being able to recall the next words of a catchy song, so it loops it for eternity. Really? I just remember it's raining men and bodies at the floor are the same song from different perspectives. <laughs> oh, they are. They absolutely are. Great, now we've got It's Rain and Men. Anybody else want to get a song stuck in my head? Is this payback for the monkeys? Is that what's happening? You can add shorter posts at the bottom or top of the barn height ones to extend them. Oh, okay. Cool beans, did not know that. Hallelujah, it's raining. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's in my head now. My dog is choking on something. Fauna, are you okay? You're making choking noises over there. Don't do that. Fifi. <laughs> Poor girl. What's wrong? Lights. I need light. And I just washed my truck. <laughs> yeah, that would be um, pretty brutal if it actually did start raining men. You think hail damage is bad? Have a dude land on your car. There's worse songs. There are worse songs. Oh, I was just about to sing one. Oh my god, should I torture you all? Should I? Should I? Should I? There's one particular song that I think is the worst song to have stuck in your head. And I think I'm going to make y'all get it stuck in your heads. One song that's just the absolute worst. Oh, 
I hate trying to get things perfectly straight. Does everything always have to be perfectly straight? Go ahead, make my pain. <laughs> I, I actually would feel guilty getting this song stuck in people's heads. There would actually be guilt involved. Who let the dogs out? It is not who let the dogs out. But that's a funny one as well. Like I kind of want to mix it up a little bit and not have all the books on the same kind of shelves. Y'all, you don't have to snap together. You know what? I'm going to have some books just sitting on the floor, kind of, like in a stack. Um, let's give them a cash register. Uh, where did I find that counter before? I think it was in CVC. Uh, furniture, registers, sofa tables, containers, drawers, counters. Wasteland chic. That'll make a good bookstore counter. Or is this a better bookstore counter? Of life. You really are drinking, aren't you? <laughs> Will my heart go on from Titanic? I don't think that one's that, that bad. Bop by Hanson. Look at this photograph. <laughs> that song used to make me laugh. <laughs> and sing bye bye bye. You want me to tell you what I think is the worst that you can have stuck in your head? I think it's the uh, baby shark song. That is what I think is the absolute worst. And now if you're singing it, you might have it. You might have it stuck in your head. All right, let's go to V's. Because V's has books that I think I can place. This is the song that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people will be singing it, not knowing what it was. They will sing it forever just because. Crazy Frog, I don't know that. I get knocked down by Chumbawamba is a pretty bad earworm. Yes, it is. Crazy Frog, Gummy Bear, I don't know what those are. Care Bears? At some point, I'm going to have this sitting on top of books. All right, one of these has a stack of a pile of books. Where are they all? Um, creative clutter, I think. Yeah, whoever just did This Is The Song That Doesn't End, that was evil. Because that is, that is solidly stuck in my head right now. Do you think a bookstore is too close to a comic book store? Am I doing like the same thing right now? Here comes the sun from Ramstein. <laughs> Ramstein has here comes the sun. Uh, let's get some shelves on the wall. Do you know the ultimate fact that's on? We're tiny, we're loony, we're all... 
We're tiny, we're toony, isn't it? We're all a little loony. Tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. In this cartoony, we're feeding a teeny. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry for singing. And this is me when I'm sober. I am so sorry for singing. I, I apologize. That was just mean. Uh, I guess you should have some books behind the counter. In this cartoon, leaving your TV. That that was evil. That's another evil one. That's close enough. That was one of the easier parts. Putting in already done books. <laughs> it's the never ending story. That one doesn't really get stuck in my head too bad. Space Jam. I don't know, I feel like the bookstore is a little lackluster. She's a sin. I'm a sin? Why? Uh, no, let's go into these. That'd be awesome to be a sin. I'd take it. But that is kind of funny to have a whole conversation just about songs that get stuck in your head. Because you don't see them as earworms. <laughs> Need to check for a component. I assure you, I'm human. That was my best robot voice. Sorry, I'm kind of like focusing way hard on getting these books in here, right? but I totally have the tiny tunes. Name of bookstore, no clue yet. Earworms, because <laughs> that's all that I can think about right now. Uh, name of the bookstore. Well, we've got the bloom box. Bookstore, bookstore. She is an innocent. But AIO's terminal synth, don't get sarcasm, this chick ate up with it. 
<laughs> nah, she definitely no woman. She even plays metal when scared. <laughs> a couple of rugs on the floor will help to bring it to life. Yes, good point. Good point. Plays metal when scared. That's really funny. I can't have the same books like that on the same, on just two different shelves. I'll have to put something different. These two will be fine. Just to finish up that shelf. Oh, you know what? There should be like a chair or someplace for people to sit. But then again, this is more like a bookworms. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Since we are talking about earworms, bookworms is definitely cute. Um, should I have seating? No, but let's put a rug down. Uh, which rug to use? It would help if I go into decorations and actually go into the rug category. Um, we can go with light blue. We can go with... Oh, I like this multicolored one. What do we think of this rug? Yeah, the rug definitely does bring it to life. Um, maybe some art on the walls. Do you think there's going to be art on the walls in the bookstore? It's my life now and ever. It's going to get much better. Looks good. Thank you. I'm trying to make something that looks somewhat decent. I use that multicolor rug a lot. It's a pretty cute rug. I do like the colors. I feel like we're needing some... I wish they had pictures of people reading books. That's what I feel like it needs. Definitely need art on the walls. Reading is fun. Reading is fun. What do y'all read? I read Star Wars books. <laughs> um, I'm a huge fan of all of the different series. I love Thrawn. Does anybody know who Thrawn is? He's freaking awesome. He's one of my favorite Star Wars characters of all time. Who's Asha Playcats? I guess I'll go back into V's and look for some more books. Oh my god, you said the one thing that makes my wife go gaga. Thanks, Upbeat. Just read a Soka book that was good. Need new suggestions. Ready Player One was a great book. She's going to love you forever now. You mentioned Star Wars. Um, I like Fra Thrawn Ascendancy I read recently. And um, Thrawn, I forget what it was. Um, the one where he's with Darth Vader. Or more wa wall shelves with books. You can't find a good painting. Yeah, there could be more books up high. I don't have this anywhere, but is that the same as that one? No, let's just stick that up here for whatever reason. Or you know what, let's stick that on the checkout person's desk.
I saw there was a series about him. Yeah, the series is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I like I said, one's called Ascendancy. I forget what the other one's called. I'd have to pull it up on my phone because I go. The problem is I go through Star Wars books so fast that I don't even remember the names of the books that I read because I'm already on to the next book. Ron Ascendancy, and what was the other one? I keep wanting to call it Rule of Two, but that was part of the Bane series, I think, was Rule of Two. Speed decorate bookshelves with a few from Do It. I go through books, period, fast. Yeah, I love a good book. I like like I read a four book series in a week. I, I feel you. I do very much similar. Yeah, I can just fill those with do it yourself. Or you know what? I think there's some plants. The store needs some plants. Maybe that's what I'll use as decoration. So just a heads up, y'all. Um, it is headed towards puppy feeding time. Um, so I'm probably almost at that hour mark. So I will have to wrap up the stream here, not to uh, probably after I work on this store just a little bit more because the poor little guy. There needs to be a good Darth Vader book unless I'm missing something. Um, there does need to be a good Darth Vader book, but I do think that reading about Vader in the Thrawn books is really good. Do you mean Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, or The Last Command? Um, Dark Force Rising, I feel like I read that one. Um, Heir to the Empire. Did I read Heir to the Empire? I've been streaming for 97 minutes. Um, that went over my hour mark, didn't it? Aw, poor puppy. He's going to be hungry. The little guy. He's behaving right now. All right, so we have our little bookshop under the bridge. Aw, bookshop under the bridge. If, the, if there was a way to make that smaller and cuter. But see, I have no... Oh, maybe on the inside here on the wall I could put the name of the bookshop. Maybe some filing cabinets for storing plans and documents. There could potentially be a filing cabinet. I mean, what documents would they be storing? I don't know. Give me, give me an idea. Abridged version. Ah, I love it. I get it. Bookshop under the plank. You're welcome. <laughs> but the plank is, is a good name for something. Um, I suppose I could throw a filing cabinet with a plant on it. Um, but I'm just having a hard time deciding why a file cabinet is in the bookstore. I need help on that one. I mean, I understand a library for like the library catalog, but I don't really, I can't really think of a reason for the bookstore. But if you have a reason, let me know. I guess I'll just throw some do-it-yourself books up back there. Vault Girl to keep sales in it or book order info. Yeah, sales info. Okay, I got that. And decorative. I think the library or no, the living room section of Creative Clutter has that. Cosmic Girl, or what's she called? The game has plans for items you can unlock. Maybe they sell them here. 
Oh, okay. Um, I have a little book up here on the shelf. I made a little picture up here with the book. And then I know the one that I want to go next to it. I don't think it's in creative clutter, though. I think it's in... Oh, a plastic bin of books. I could put those up there. Add some more color. Yo, is that a bookshop? What's up, old world? Old world, I promise I am not copying you. It was suggested by one of the, uh, somebody in the chat. But yes, I am doing a bookshop. Um, I know that you just did a library. I am not copying your library, I promise. Is that what you were talking about? I found Thrawn books called Thrawn, Alliances, and Treason. Yes, that is what I was talking about. Um, alliances. Yes, uh, those are very, very good. And yes, this is a bookstore in Hangman's Alley. So about Thrawn, what do you like about the semi-canon of him? Y'all make me feel like a celebrity in this chat. <laughs> we love you, old world. I wouldn't mind if you did. I know, but I just feel like I had, because I had no idea, honestly, that you did a comic book store. And then you suggested that I do one. And so then it's like we both did that. And then you did the library. And now I'm doing a bookstore. And so... I just feel like, like I said, I like to try to be original. It's just me. Um, what was I looking for? I think I was looking in do it yourself. Under decoration, there is a half decoration with books and plants. Perfect. Nice. Hello. Uh -huh. Did you get the Kuro tab yet? They have a bunch of good book clutter. I did not get the Kuro tab because I was worried because people said that it would break their, um, they were afraid that it would break their game. And so I'm always afraid that something's going to break my game. When I get my new PC, I will likely install it, but I did not get the Kuro tab. Kuro, however you pronounce it. Um, let's get, how about some abstract paintings? That'll be good for a bookstore. Not like scenery or anything. And where is my thing to shrink that sucker down? I thought I had it right here. There it is. floating in midair, isn't it? Yeah. I need you up against that wall there. You know you want to go up against the wall. Don't you? Don't ya? Don't ya? I'm liking the abstract art with the books. I think that works. Um, what other abstract painting? I love the Kuro tab and have never had any kind of issues with it. All right, I'll look into it. If, if As long as we don't think that it's going to break anything. I'm just always afraid of something breaking something else. Oh, yeah, that sucker takes forever to load. And if you have a bunch of RAM, you should be fine. My new um, laptop has... Um, I think 64 of RAM. I don't know. Somebody said that it's got more RAM than I'll ever need. Uh, not my new laptop. My new um, desktop that is arriving on Tuesday. I will be so happy when it gets here. Whoops. That is right under my face. Right in front of my face. I feel like that's floating out in midair, too. Whatever, it's close enough to the wall. You can't really tell. 
I was going to put one more next to it. Yeah, the puppy's starting to get restless. 160 or so with extension mods. One can install more, buff out the engine improvement, for example. Thank you, Easy Fallout. Looking good so far. Thank you. I'm trying. Trying to make something that looks decent. I really wish I can get that on the wall better. And then I'll put one more next to it, and then we'll figure out what to name this sucker. I thought the limit was 250. Uh, 250 mods? Worm fantasies. I don't really want to know what worms fantasize about. I have no interest to, interest to know that. I'll work on those. Okay, so that is going to be um, the bookstore for now. Um, so Hangman's Alley has the Bloom Box, has Jangle's Toys. Um, we've got some room for people upstairs. The people have some water. Uh, they've got power. They've got defense. And we're up to eight beds. So I could actually have people start living here soon. I didn't realize that I was up to eight beds. Um, yeah, I think the bookstore is looking really cute. Um, I am going to go feed and care for a puppy. Um, I hope everyone had a great time. I will let everybody um, finish up and say goodbye in the chat and all that stuff while I mess with these pictures for a minute. Thanks for the stream and take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out while I decorate this bookstore. And Wyatt the doggy says hi to everyone and says that he's very happy that I'm getting off the computer to feed him. This is looking amazing. Great job. Thanks for the stream. No problem. I just wish that I can get these to cooperate, but I might end up moving a wall out of the way so I can get them to work. Later, later. Thank you for stopping by. I hope your stream's been going good. All right. They're going to stay like that for now. That is the bookstore. Um, thanks for coming. Please come again. Yes, please come again. Okay, that is going to be it for the stream. Thank you so much, everybody. Much love, much appreciation, and um, have a wonderful Saturday night.